students in this session we will discuss about generations of computers under that we discuss the first generation computers the very first thing when we talk about generations of computers is computers did not evolve overnight it took lot of time in fact it took many years of time for the computers to come to this stage the computers what we are using now we can hold it in our palm it is that simple that small but the first generation computers were not that simple they were too huge they were not that small so the the size was very big now the first generation computers period was from the year 1944 to 1952 between this period whatever computers were used like the eniac and all all those come under first generation computers only vacuum tube was the main component used in the first generation computers vacuum tube was like a bulb like component which used to have a filament in it that was the main component used in the first generation computer we'll see some of the characteristics of the first generation computers the very first thing what we talk is they were the fastest calculating devices of this of those days that means they didn't have any other option they were the only computers used and they were the only fastest calculating devices of those period so that was the best option for them not option actually that was a compulsion for them because they didn't have any other option second thing it was too bulky the size was too bulky why was it bulky because thousands of components have to be assembled together thousands of components have to be assembled together so that a computer can be made so many many equipments many many components bulky big components have to be assembled together so that is the reason why the size of the computer became too large sometimes it used to occupy even a big room now we use a computers on a desktop or we hold it even in our palm like laptop or etc we hold it in our hands or you just put it in your lap it's that simple but those days the size was too bulky it was too bulky because why was the size bulky because so many components used to be assembled together to get, make the computer become possible so that is the reason why it became too huge that was one of the drawback of it it used to occupy more space in some cases it used to occupy big rooms as well then thousands of vacuum tubes were used which emitted large amount of heat and burnt out frequently as i told you vacuum tubes has a filament in it these vacuum tubes used to consume lot of power as a result when it is consuming lot of power lot of heat was generated as a result they used to burn out frequently that is the reason why vacuum tubes have need to have constant maintenance okay now as a vacuum tubes used filaments their lifetime is less so there were frequent hardware failures as i told in the previous point that power consumption is more because the power consumption is more it used to consume more amount of electricity okay second thing it used to emit more heat as a result these components used to burn out frequently so because they used to burn out frequently frequent hardware failures were occurring as a result more uh, cost for maintenance was done that means more frequent maintenance have to be done again and again within a few uh, uh, time a span of time more and more uh, cost have to be invested in it because frequent maintenance frequent failures were done so when failure is there obviously you need to uh, uh, repair it or get it done so for that maintenance cost was that thousands of individual components were assembled manually into electronic circuits so production was difficult and costly now the computers are very cheap even a common man can afford for it but in those days computers were not meant for common man because they were very costly why were they costly because their manufacturing was costly why was it why was the manufacturing costly because thousands of individual components have to be assembled manually in electronic circuits and because of this assembling into electronic circuits it used to take more costs they were not meant for commercial purpose they were only for a specific use like maybe scientific purpose or research purpose they used to use these computers but not a common man then 
it has only limited commercial use as we are using now everywhere everywhere we are able to see computers in every field but then in those days the first generation computer it was not able to be used by a common man or wherever in office or in school or anywhere if you go to a restaurant now you see a computer there if you go to a small kindergarten school there you will find a computer there but in those days it was not the case the reason is the manufacturing of it was too costly so common man can't afford it the second reason behind it is in those days they didn't have any high level language concept so they were forced they were used only the option that they had was the middle level language and the assembly language which was not that easy to learn and understand so uh, general people they were unable to understand it and only for scientific purpose or for research purpose or some some commercial purpose only computers were used it was not meant for common man clearly speaking these are the characteristics of the first generation computers hope you understood today's class thank you for watching